What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Now, you are again looking at the Mustang RTR Spec 5 and in the previous video with this car, I kind of talked about how to unlock it and kind of where you could go with some of the basic upgrades. Now we're going to go completely bonkers with it because you have the option of putting a V8 in this, well, another V8 in this car, it comes with a V8 anyway, but you have an option of putting a V8 in this car that once you fully build it will put out almost 1900 horsepower, and I didn't know about this until somebody mentioned it in my comments, so thank you so much for that, but I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, so if I go to the upgrades and tuning and custom upgrades, you go over to conversion, go to engine swaps, and put the 7.2 liter V8 in this thing, and right now, it is making 1,876 horsepower and 1,382 foot-pounds of torque. Now, that is also with a twin-turbo kit. Now, I didn't really... I didn't really think about trying the positive displacement supercharger because I feel like even when it's fully built, it probably won't make as much power. But I kind of want to try it and just see how close we can get. So let's see... 1,876 horsepower, so same exact power figures, no matter whether you go with the twin turbo setup or with the positive displacement supercharger setup. Now, I also have to warn you, we're going to make this thing all-wheel drive because I tried it without all-wheel drive, and it was just kind of... It was just kind of useless, you know what I mean? It was just kind of all over the place because there was really nothing that we could do with it. Now, I am going to put the drift suspension on it because I kind of want to do, I kind of want to do like this weird, crazy drift car. And normally, because normally I wouldn't do an all-wheel drive drift car, but this thing just makes so much power that it kind of becomes, it kind of becomes silly at a certain point because there's only so much you can do with so much power. Although, I am going to bring it back to a stock tire compound and but but we're gonna stay max width so that's 355 in the back 335 in the front and I'm gonna leave the stock wheels on although I am gonna paint it this time because although this red is really cool I do want to kind of go with a different paint scheme on this car because we've been running this exact same paint scheme for a while now I mean I we've only used it in one video but me personally like just driving this car in game I I've been running this same the same design. Oh my god. I thought we had one more menu to back out of. Turns out we were just ready to go back out. And, and you know, for a second I wanted to just take off and drive it. And uh, I, I think now I, I kind of just want to go back in and change the color. Because I'm kind of tired of looking at that, 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 that same color. I think you guys probably are tired of looking at that same color too. So I want to go ahead and just do a quick, a quick, quick paint job change. So let's see... Uh, this does not support advanced paint groups. Okay. So, ooh, the white looks different. And you can do it in kind of like this this off gray. I like the white. The white is very, like... The white's very different. I don't really see a lot of white Mustang RTRs anyway. So, we'll bump that up to about 30 in the back. And we'll stiffen the rear springs. Not a ton, but some. Stiffen the rear dampening. Soften the front. Rebound and bump, and let's see, diff, diff stuff, it's it's an all-wheel drive car, so it's a little weird. Uh, acceleration in the rear is going to be fully locked. Why do I not have deceleration tunable? Do I not have a race diff? That's really weird. I thought I had a race diff. I genuinely thought I had a race diff. It is spinning all four wheels like at a hundred miles an hour in like fourth gear this thing is this thing is ridiculous it's definitely more civilized to drive now though like i feel like i can actually you know take sort of take take advantage of the power god it is it is ridiculous now this car is kind of aero limited to about 270 miles an hour once you get once you get there, it's kind of like, okay, we're done. You know what I mean? It's very much a... Uh-oh. I was going to go through there. And I kind of want to take... I kind of want to take this side street. Because I know there's a really good drift zone down here. 
Oh, come on. There we go. All right, this is going to be interesting because, oh, there we go. I just got to be really careful that I don't kind of with, a, like with an all-wheel drive car, I got to be really careful that I don't kind of drive outside the limits of the, of the track, like of the drift zone, because a lot of all-wheel drive cars will kind of pull you, and they'll pull you farther than you think they will. So, they, oh, wow, it's not doing too bad, though. It is not doing too bad. And that was on my first attempt. I think I could beat my personal record with this car. And yeah, I know there's going to be people out there that are going to be like, oh, it's all-wheel drive. It's cheating. Honestly, with this much power, like if I was going to make a rear-wheel drive drift car out of this car, then I would dial the power back. I would not use the 1900 horsepower V8 like option. It just, it's just so much high. It's just so much power that you can't really even use anything. You know what I mean? Like you can't really use the car the way you would like to use it because it's just so okay yeah that's that's what i mean when i say sliding completely outside the boundaries but no it's just so much power that if you tried to put it through a rear wheel drive car you wouldn't be able to take any advantage of the speed because all you would get is wheel spin <clears throat> in almost any gear this corner is where all wheel drive either helps you or really hurts you because if you take it with too much speed, you'll slide out. And if you take it with too little, you'll still not quite make it. God, it's crazy, though, because I feel like I did that corner really, really badly and still ended up with, like, 130,000 points. Let's try one more time. One more time. Get out of the way. I also can't tell yet whether I feel like this thing needs more rear bias or not. Like, part of me says this thing needs more rear bias. And then another part of me is like, are you sure? There we go. Holy crap, that works. That's better than last time. That's definitely better than last time. That's like 10,000 points better than last time. So I think... Judging by what we've kind of done so far, the better direction for this car anyway, at least for me, is this way and not the other way that we're about to go. I do want to try out a different drift zone once we're done with this one, and I want to attempt this one one last time and see if I can beat that record. And what usually happens is I beat the record, like, after I stop filming. So, and I've, that, that's happened to me multiple, multiple times. There we go. I think the biggest problem, too, is, like, I want more angle, but in an all-wheel drive car, angle is really dangerous because if you mess up, you're kind of screwed. Like, the whole zone is, is done for you if you overdo your angle. Because you just basically drive off backwards into the grass. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but it also wasn't great. So, let's try one more drift zone. And I do like the car. Don't get me wrong. I, I really like the car. But I think I want to do a little bit more rear power split. Why do I not have... Hmm. I guess I would need a, like, a race trans to do that. Which is really weird because like I thought I, I, I know I have a race diff in this car. But then again, if I had a race diff, then I wouldn't be dealing with that problem. That's really weird. This this section is literally just one turn, but it's fun. It's a really fun drift zone. So let's see what we can do here. This one's going to be weird because my idea was that I was going to kind of create a RTR unicorn, and it's sort of that, but it's also sort of not that. I mean, you need to you need to be able to tune the diffs a little bit more in order to kind of create a unicorn tune. And I've done a couple of unicorn tunes on other cars, but I don't think this one quite lends itself to a unicorn tune, at least not in this particular fashion. Like, I really don't want to convert it to a six-speed because I feel like if I convert it to a six-speed, then I'm kind of getting rid of the idea behind the ten-speed that it has, and I don't want to get rid of that. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. That was actually almost really good. That was almost really good because my record is like 106. Yeah. I feel like I can beat that with this car. I feel like I can beat that with this car easily. 
Holy crap, he came out of nowhere. Thank God they're ghosted in, in, uh, in, oh, in drift zones now. I remember back in, dude, can you remember the frustration of Horizon 3 when you were on, like, a perfect run in a drift zone and then some Drivatar would come out of nowhere and smash into you? There are few things that are more frustrating than that in a Forza game. God, back in Horizon 3 when Drivatars would do that is just so, so frustrating, or it would be so frustrating. Just one of those things that you're like, really? This is happening? Like, this is really happening right now? Ooh, not enough speed. Come on, I wonder if that might be it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I've gone off the side. I guarantee you if I had stayed on the road that that would have been, that, that I would have beaten my record for that. I want to do one more. I want to do one more. And as you can see, also, you guys can probably very easily tell that I am much more of a, much more of a rear-wheel drive drift guy than an all-wheel drive drift guy. But this drift zone is one that I've spent quite a bit of time at. And this is kind of where I go to just test everything. So this zone should really give me an overall idea of where this car kind of stands. So I do a big entry. Well, that worked. And also, I think possibly like practicing with this car too and kind of getting used to it could be a big factor as well. I got off the track there. Oh my god. Okay, that was that was sketchy at the end. 118,000. It's okay. I mean, 118,000 is pretty good. It's not, you know, mind-blowingly good, but it's decent. And that's, I feel like, the best performance I've seen out of this car so far. So I'm going to run back the other way and see what I can do with it going up the hill. Enter big angle on power. Ah, not quite. See, I, I kind of knew when the front end was hanging over the edge of the road going in that I was like, I don't know if that's going to be, I don't know if that's going to be the right way, but here, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, geez. Oh, that's, yeah, I didn't do that correctly. I didn't do that correctly at all. Wasn't as good. Wasn't as good as I thought. And, and you know what? This is where it gets into the back and forth with me of like, I want to just do it again. Like, that's what I want to do. I, I want to just do it again. But if I keep doing it, this video is going to be an hour long. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.